Well, we've come here today, and apparently there are 300 people living here. They're living in the woods, they're living behind the fencing, and they're camped out, and every single day they're trying to get into the UK. UK is the destination of choice, although they have travelled through many, many countries and indeed continents to try and get to the UK. I'm here chatting to Ali who is from Iran. He's very educated. He has travelled across many, many countries. He went from Serbia into Macedonia, into Greece, where he bought a passport for 500 euros. I asked him what passport that was. It's from Poland. And then he's travelled through the, through the rest of Europe and he's got here. He's only been here for two days, but already he's being stopped from going into the UK. Ali, why do you think that is? Uh... Why, why do you? Why, why the UK? Do they not recognize your passport? Yeah. Uh, I, I will go to UK because uh, I have a family in UK and uh, I think I can find a job easily. And I'm engineer and uh, also my wife live in UK and my sister, my brother-in-law and uh, I prefer go to UK and with the uh, old passport uh, I, I buy in uh, Greek. I can go by, uh, by plan to uh, UK because uh, when I uh, go to check passport they uh, find uh, that the passport is robbed or is lost before and I can't go uh, uh, cross the passport, check passport. So it was some. It was a, a passport. It was somebody else's passport. So it was a real passport with another identity, and they've identified that as somebody else's passport. They don't believe it's your passport. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's a Polish passport. And your wife is in the UK. You say, how how is your wife allowed in the UK? How did she get to the UK? Three days ago, uh, she go to UK by plane. But, but by plane, okay. How much money did she pay to go by plane? Um, about uh, 2,000. And it was the small planes that, that, that take off from here? No, from Denmark. Um, and what was she doing in Denmark? Uh, what? Why, why was she in Denmark? Uh, we uh, we, uh, we travelled together and in uh, Greek she fly to Denmark by passport and this passport is uh, life life passport and she can travel by this passport to UK. And why didn't they why didn't Denmark give you a Danish passport? No, did you, did you apply for a Danish passport or was it a false no, passport? No, no, it's a real passport. What is a Netherland passport? Uh -huh. And I I just uh, take uh, on in Denmark. So it was a Dutch passport for the Dutch. Netherlands, Netherlands. for the N Netherlands, which is Dutch. So yeah. you got a ne so your wife has got a Netherlands passport, and now she's got a, a Danish passport for Denmark. Yes. Okay. Yes. How? I don't know how. <laughs> and they're real passports. They're not fake yeah. passports. No, no, no fake. B uh, it's a uh, lost passport, maybe, and I I can buy it. I'm here with Stefan, who is from Slovakia, and I'm intrigued by Stefan because um, he has, <laughs> you have an ID for Slovakia, and Slovakia is in the Schengen zone, um, it's part of the EU, and I just wondered why you're here in France, in, in the camps? No good, they don't want to let me through border, don't know why, because we have a problem from the Queen, uh, Majesty maybe, they don't want to let me go through border because they don't understand, they don't believe we are, we go our ideas to many people, you know, that uh, them, you know, from Malaysia, Afghanistan, we all same, they don't want to let even people from Slovakia, they don't want to believe and they call too many people here to help them, you know, to go through border, so that's what happened. But the Slo I was with some Slovakians last week in the European Parliament, your, co your economy is booming, um, there's really good employment prospects. Why don't you want to stay in your own country? Uh, I love to work more. I love UK. Yeah, I come from UK, born in UK. My family come from UK, so you're going back home. Yeah, to UK. But yeah. so you were born in the UK. Yeah, I is, I have stopped all in the UK. I can't get the employment. I can't get job. I can't get everything. You know, so I don't know why. Then 
Were you taken? Wait, so you were, you were born in the UK. Yeah. Were you taken back to Slovakia as a child? Yes, I born in Slovakia. My mom come from the UK. We all want to go UK back home. Yeah. We spoke to the young guy called Stefan, who said he was a Slovakian. Um, he may well be a Slovakian, and you know that Slovakia is in the European Union. He didn't have a passport, he didn't have a European passport, he had an ID. And what we think is that he's Roma. Now, we know that the Slovakians don't want their Roma. We know that the Romanians don't want their Ro Roma. And they are asking the European Parliament to redistribute them around the UK. So what we're seeing here is absolute discrimination, but he's still not our problem. He says he was born in the UK. Maybe, maybe not. He said his parents were born in the UK and they went back to Slovakia, but none of them want to live in Slovakia. He went to Italy, he was rejected. He went to Germany, he was rejected. And he applied for asylum, but they rejected him. So what's he doing here now? The French should be rounding him up and deporting him back to Slovakia. As you've seen in Calais, the mainstream media, the governments are telling us that the, the migrants have been dispersed across France. Well, they may have been, but they're back and they're back in their hundreds and they're determined to break into our country, the UK. We've seen that the hundred million pounds spent on security hasn't worked, hasn't kept them out. And you know, you get nice pretty pictures by the BBC and the mainstream media of the little flotillas that are being picked up in the channel day after day. But the real migrant crisis and the incursions are coming from the lorries because they come in their hundreds and they come in their thousands every single day and we're only detecting a small minority. We've seen them jumping out on the M25 when there's 12, 24, 30 migrants in the back. We haven't got the border force to deal with it, we haven't got the customs personnel to deal with it, we haven't got the police force to deal with it. This is Janice Atkinson for The Rebel Dot Media. We went to Calais to expose the lies about migration told by the mainstream media, the EU and our own government. Our biggest cost is security. We had to hire three men to keep us safe as we toured these migrant camps. That costs thousands. And unlike our mainstream competitors, we're not backed by big corporations or government funding. Please go to rebelfrance.com to, to watch my videos from Calais and please consider chipping in a few pounds or dollars to help us cover the cost of our independent journalism. Thanks.